Welcome to the second log for MGR development. So what we have new, so first we have the duct uh, menu that is working now with any naming configuration. So we have here, for instance, one uh, UI host shared with different arms. This arm, it's called arm and it's two arms. And the other one is big arm and it's only this arm. So the way that we do the differentiation now is using this option here that it will make that each instance of the component, so ARM component, you have three copies of this ARM component, it will use the name that you set to the instance, not the name of the component that was before. So it looks like a small change, but it's a big one in terms of how you can configure and how much flexibility you gain with that. So for instance here, I have this a big ARM that is called big ARM and these two that are the default ARM name. So if I go here on my UI host, you can see when I switch this attribute, you get this arm blend. But when I switch the second one, it's going to be big arm blend. So now we have this option. So if you put the same name of the component, it's going to combine when we use this. Of course, if we don't use the classic naming, because it's going to be unique for each component, it's going to combine like we had before in the same UI host. But now if you have different arms with different names, and you use this option, it will separate these channels in the same UI host. So you have a lot more flexibility. Next one, it's the joint orientation. Now you can change the joint orientation for each component. You have here this new option for each component that is orientation offset, and you can set uh, like any degree that you want. Uh, by default, when you switch with the buttons, it's gonna go 90 degrees, but you can uh, type any, any number. So here you can see this is the default orientation on this arm here where the axis was down X. So you can see all the joints go down X here. But now you can see here on this one that is the one that I have open here the, the properties that is down Y axis. And this is because I rotated in the C like a negative 90 degrees. And how we do that? Well, before we was doing a, a bunch of nodes connections and combinations to get this all working with the compose matrix and things like that. Now we have only one single node and this node well big shout out to Yasha who is the the developer of this uh, new node and basically we save between um, I would say four to six nodes for each join connection and yeah that can be the order of hundreds or thousands of nodes in each rig and it should be faster now the rigs with these uh, simple connections and you can see here that this node will have some bunch of input matrix and it opts, outputs all the uh, like rotation scale share and translate and also the matrix if you want to use it so it's very very simple to use and it gives you a lot of uh, power to combine and to create new new uh, connections using less nodes than before. So what's next? So we have also the new beta. So this is uh, gonna be beta 3.7. Hopefully in a month, roughly, we will have the final release. And this beta is already ready to test and work. I will say it's not production ready, so be careful if may, you may find something that is not working yet, but uh, please also report it. So that's the, the goal of the betas. And also, uh, Yasha did here uh, another thing that was must needed, that it's a simple drag and drop installer. So when you get the MGR beta, that by the way, you can get it on the pre-release. I will put the, the video on the description. Uh, sorry, the, video on the, the, the link on the video description. And when you download this uh, zip file here, you will find the release and this drag and drop install. So basically you just need to go and on your folder where you ex extracted this and drag and drop to you to your uh, Maya um, window and it will pop up a little menu that you, if you want to install it in the default or set up a, a, def a custom path. It should be working. We tested on uh, all three operative systems, Linux, Windows, and uh, Mac OS and was working. So please report if you find some issues using it. Okay, so we have the ins installer, we have the DAG menu working, we have the joints orientation. So it, we are almost there. I mean, just we need to finish a bunch of components and the game tools just to um, refactor a little bit to help 
to export to Unreal and probably the Unreal backend that will be at the end of this. So that's all for MGear um, development, but I have one more thing and uh, I think that's with uh, no pun intended, but yes, one more thing. It's the new MacBook Air that just arrived yesterday. I did some preliminary tests with, with the new Mac and MGear is working nicely and funny enough, it builds half of the time that it takes to build on my a uh, Ryzen, Ryzen, I don't know, 1700X or something like that. So it's quite fast. Uh, I, I will do more tests and probably I will do another video showing a little bit how it works with Maya. But yeah, thank you very much to all the people who support the campaign to get the new MacBook for MGR development. And just one more last, absolutely last thing. It's uh, I have another YouTube channel where I talk more about my personal projects and more about like um, animation filmmaking and things like that. So if you are interested, just check it out on the video description because I will put the, the link for this new channel and hope you like it and also subscribe to this new channel. Okay, so that's all for this uh, vlog. See you next one. Bye.